Okay, the next thing we have here is the main the main gear. On this main gear, we're going to build a number of gears on it. The first thing is the second gear. This one is here. And the second gear has a it's got a blocking ring on it and the gear itself. This one has been washed up. It's all inspected. There's an inside bushing. That's all okay. This goes on first. And there we go. The next one is the synchronizer springs. Well, actually, the, the next thing is the synchronizer ring that goes on this gear, and that goes with the hub towards the front, and the other one goes the other way. So it kind of goes on the inside and surrounds the clutch hub. Now, the clutch, the clutch hub itself has got two sides to it. It's got this one side that's that's a thin one and a big one. The big one goes towards the rear and this thin side goes towards towards the front of the transmission. Now you may note that on the outside of this thing I've got a a, a spring in here and this spring starts at, at this point right here and it goes around. It's inside this notch and then just goes around as against the body of the inside. On the other side it's on that same same hole but going in an opposite direction. This one goes like this and goes inside and this one's going the other way. So they're both, if you can see here, they're both in that same notch but going in opposite directions. Now the reason for that is, is, is just because that's the way it is. So this will slide on to the main gear and after I get this on here there's a There you go. Put a snap ring at the very very front of it. I'll get the snap ring on next. Okay, using snap ring pliers, I've installed the snap ring in the center of this. So now the thing will not come off. And then we put in these spacers that go in the slots. They'll simply lay in there for now. Now some of the books say to heavily grease it if you grease these parts, that's just to keep it in there as you do the next step. Next one. Now I'll install the clutch sleeve over it with the with the ring. This is real important with this fork groove to the rear of the main shaft. This simply goes on here and you hold on to these little spacers and in she goes. A little bit of force and it's in there. That's all there is to it. The next thing is a synchron another synchronizer hub. This will fit inside the ring here where the three slots are at. Again this part here goes in the inside and it drops in. The next thing we'll do is to put in the needle bearings and drop this in. The needle bearings right on this roller at the very end. Okay, in this part we're going to install the the main input shaft and bearings and such and so I, right now I've got the T90 transmission with the, with the uh, cluster gear installed. We've got the reverse idler gear and everything is going around just fine. Also, on the left side over here, this is towards the front of the of the of the engine and stuff. We have the main input shaft along with the bearing, and the bearing is in pre pressed onto that shaft, and it's installed inside along with the oil slinger. The oil slinger is just sitting in here, and it's not really attached. Okay, the next step is to take our transmission with the input gear in it and, and lean it on an angle. So it's off the edge of my workbench and you can see it's not straight up and down, it's at an angle. And the reason we've got it at an angle is we're going to drop in the roller bearings in it and that will, uh, they'll just fall right in place. This is looking inside the transmission case at the input, on the input shaft and the um, I have a wood dowel pin in there and all of the roller bearings have been dropped around the wood dowel pin 
and they're in there dry. There's no grease or anything else. They're much, much easier to drop in place without the grease. And then we take the grease. I have some engine assembly lube. And that's a type of grease. It's not wheel bearing grease. This assembly lube dissolves in the um, 90 weight oil that lives inside the transmission. And, and so I'll fill this up with assembly lube and that will keep all of the roller bearings in place. Okay, now we're putting grease in the needle bearings themselves. Filling it all up with grease so that they'll stay still. Then we turn the dowel pin, get that work that grease in there. Okay. Okay, it's holding that. And then we take it out. Now the dowel pin is gone. And all those little needle bearings are held in their place by the grease. Okay, the next step is to drop in the main bearing into the slot. And it goes in there very carefully. And it's in. That's the hardest part. Got him in there. That's how easy it is. Okay. Okay, the next thing we did is we drove in the main gear so it's flush. So the, the ring here, the snap ring, is flush against the case. And then we're going to tighten up the screws that holes in the, the oil slinger. And that's right here. That gets tight. And the top one. We do the same thing. Excellent. There we go. Okay.